Hi y'all, I just got back from the vet and I have a couple goat tips for you. So first off, here is our barn. I don't think I ever gave you a full barn tour. What we did is we bought a carport and we built up these sides with our leftover metal from our house. And then we put that wire on so that they're secure from predators. This area over here is gonna be our breeding area. So when I'm ready to breed, I can put the doe and the buck in there and um, have them do their thing. But we have a huge area. As you can see, here come my little buddies right now. Aw. We have a huge area for them, which is a lot of woods. Um, there's not a lot of grass, but there's a lot of browse for them to eat, which is what they like the most. So one tip that I got from the vet today is don't cut your grass. Let your grass grow 12 to 14 inches because the worms, goats are very wormy animals. The worms, when the goats poop and they um, have worms in their poop, then the eggs and get laid and then when the eggs hatch, the larva has to crawl up the blades of the grass. The taller the grass, the less likely they're going to make it to the very top of the grass, which is the part that the goats eat. So it actually helps with the worm load to not mow your grass very tall. He said, don't let it get too out of control, but 12 to 14 inches is preferred for goats and even um, exotic animals, which we have. Okay, we are fighting flies really, really bad, which I'm sure you all are too, if you have goats. Sorry. So I'm gonna show you what he talked about doing for fly control. So flies, one thing about flies is of course they carry a lot of diseases and a lot of icky stuff. So you wanna keep your flies down to the bare minimum that you possibly can so that your goats don't get sick. If you, he said you will never get rid of the flies 100%, you're always going to have some, but an infestation like we've been struggling with is not good for their health. So here I'm gonna show you, I just got done cleaning their barn really, really well. So I try to keep the poop out of the barn as much as possible. So that means I'm actually mucking it like twice a day, y'all. It's a lot. The other thing is I feed them at night. They get to eat all their grain at night. And then during the day, they've got hay and they've got their forage. And then they get fed again each night. So I'm trying to keep the grain out of the um, barn also. Now, you can see over here, we have fly sticky strips hung up and they need to be taken down and replaced. My husband's gonna work on that for me today because they're full. The fly sticky strips are so full. So that's one thing. The other thing is the fly bags. We have a couple in here, but he's gonna replace those also. We had a lot of rain this week and hopefully you don't get grossed out with dead flies, but this fly bag, I don't know if you can see, it's like full of dead flies completely full so he's gonna replace that as well then we've also been doing a spray so this is a goat and sheep spray so we've been trying a couple different sprays but this one is working pretty well it is for use on livestock and it is um, Gordon's goat and sheep spray um, permanent it's a stable emulsion insecticide so it is for the flies it's for fleas and ticks and all sorts of stuff so here's all my little buddies I do fill up their water they get fresh water every single night we dump all that water and they get fresh water every night that is one really important thing so they get coastal hay and they get a little bit of alfalfa hay that's what they're chowing on now is the rest of their alfalfa hay they love that so much Here's Juniper, she just got her CDT shot and um, got some dewormer because she still has a little bit of worms. The dewormer is a fine line. 
of how much you give because you don't want them to get resistant to it. So they, um, I'm just going by the vet's advice on what to do. Here's mama. Hey, Rishi. Rishi, come here, baby. She just got back from the vet as well. And she got a really good checkup. She just has a little bit of worms left, but she's doing really well. That's the cough of her cub, not the cough for pneumonia. So her pneumonia is gone. Thank you, God. We're so happy. Hi, Rishi. And here's Junie, her other baby, one of her babies. And there's Violet, one of the other babies. Hermione had a really fun, oh, Hermione, seriously. She had an interesting thing. We came out here last night and she had red all over the top of her head. Right up here, it was all red. It looks bloody, but it wasn't. It was because it was raining so much and she was rubbing against the hay stand that she had red paint on there. So it really wasn't as alarming as we had thought. Um, Hottie went to the doctor as well today. She got an eye flush because she's got some goopy allergy eyes and everything else is going well with her. So that's just an update. Here's how we did the inside. So we did half walls on each side, so we still have a good ventilation. These are our kidding stalls. That's our feed stalls. So we have three kidding stalls, nice big kidding stalls. And then we have one that we keep all of our feed and our um, supplies in to keep them out of that. But we are even gonna add another fan. The vet said fly traps, sticky traps, sprays, and then we're gonna add one more fan in here just to have the air flowing even more and that will help with the fly issue. So moving air, lots of spray, lots of fly traps. And then for um, the worm load, let your grass grow tall. He also said to rotate their pastures every 90 days. You need to take them off this pasture and put them on a different pasture and let the um, worms just die down. And <laughs> who's talking over there? <laughs> the two babies are talking. And the boy I think is uh, wanting to get the girl. She's not interested. <laughs> That's such a cute little noise they're making. Um, anyhow, so he also said rotating the pasture, so we might have to consider dividing our pasture in half and so that we can actually rotate them and take them off of the current pasture and put them on a pasture that doesn't have any worms for 90 days and just keep switching them out and that will help keep a worm issue down. The biggest problem with worms is the more worms that they have, the um, weaker their immune system is gonna be. So they're gonna be more prone to getting pneumonia and all other kinds of illnesses. So prevention is the best thing you can do for that. All right, hopefully this was helpful and um, good luck with your goat ventures. Take care, bye.